Hello, welcome to Mystical Mondays. This is Anna Raimondi coming to you from Connecticut. Are you looking for a spiritual book to inspire you, to learn from, to give you another perspective, perhaps? Today, I pulled some books off of my shelf that may do all of the above. Some of these books you will love, and some of them you will look at and say, not really for me. It's all okay. It all depends on where you are personally on your spiritual journey and what you like. So um, the first book I'm going to recommend, and by the way, these are in no particular order, is Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Miss. You know, she talks about um, different aspects of spirituality, as well as physical power and who we and who we are. She talks about alternative health and spirituality, you know, all things that you have heard about, but maybe you want to delve into a little bit deeper. When I used to teach Reiki, I would always tell the people I was teaching that they should read this book so that they would, you know, get an understanding of some of the terms and some of the aspects of spirituality. My favorite novel in the whole world is Mary Called Magdalene. Um, this is written by um, Margaret George, who is a wonderful author of historical fiction. What I love so much about this book, and it's a novel, so it's loosely based on fact, but the whole thing may not be true. Or it may be if she was inspired to write this, who knows? Um, what I like so much about this is she brings these characters of the New Testament into the story as real people. So we're, we're not looking at them as these mystical people that are so elusive to us, but people who may be similar to us. It's a beautiful book um, and I do recommend that. Another book is John O'Donoghue, and it is The Space Between Us. To, I'm sorry, To Bless the Space Between Us. I just love this author. Um, he's an Irish author. Um, it, these, these, they're all little passages written in here, and you can use them before a meditation and help you get through that, or just read them. Just read them for yourself and let it bring you into a spiritual state. A great book, if you're interested in power animals, is Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen Farmer. Um, there's a lot of books written out there, but I really like this one the best because it's easy to read. And within each animal category, it breaks it down into a power animal, a message, or when you should call on that particular animal. Don't love the books of Doreen Virtue, and I do not follow her, but this is a wonderful book called Divine Guidance. It's about communicating with God and the angels. It's just a beautiful book that I feel can help give you a different perspective and maybe even change your life and how, and how you view the divine. Old Souls, written by Tom Schroeder. Tom Schroeder deals in past lives. This book is about the memory of children um, of their past lives. So it's very, it's a very interesting book. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, there's another author named Ian Stevenson. He has also written books about past lives in um, the Middle East. Um, great book. I have never experienced immediate reincarnation with anybody, but that's not to say it doesn't happen. And so Ian Stevenson really, you know, looks at that. The Sufi Book of Life, beautiful book. Um, it shows whatever spirituality you follow. It's a beautiful spirituality that really does parallel a lot of the other traditions that are out there. I do find that any tradition that is based in love, as Mary in my book talks about, really makes sense and is a good way to integrate it somehow into your mind or your practices, if that's for you. If you're interested in the chakra system, chakras and their archetypes. Great book. It's more academic as opposed to some of these other books I was speaking about. Um, this book will break down the chakras, tell you what they're about, 
what their characteristics are, what it means to be unblocked or blocked, give you the colors for them. Really, um, really good if you want to learn about that. Becoming Starlight by Sharon Prentice. Um, this is a book about grief and loss and going into a belief system that your loved one is around you. So that's a good book. This is a big book. Looks like big as the Bible, huh? Because it is um, in novel form. It's called The Book of God and it's written by Walter Wengren. This book is about the Bible, okay? So the Bible can be really hard to read. This book reads like a novel, okay? So you, as you're reading it, you know, you're not, you know, trying to figure out what's going on and who was this and who was that, or the language is sometimes a little bit difficult. It's very self-explanatory and repeats. So it's a good book. Um, Alcoholics Anonymous. Whether you're an addict, living with an addict, have a friend who's an addict, or just want to learn from the 12 steps. Wonderful book. The spirituality of the 12 steps is just wonderful and something that I think everybody should follow. We'd be in a better world. Okay, now some books I wrote down. Um, Wayne Dyer, The Power of Intention. Michael Singer wrote a wonderful book called The Untethered Soul. Eckhart Tolle, he wrote a book called A New Earth and the Power of Now. I really like A New Earth. The Power of Now um, is based on mindfulness and can be a little bit difficult to get through, but both very good books. A Return to Love, Marianne Williamson. If you're going to read A Course in Miracles, you really need to be with an instructor it um, parallels the Bible, but it can be difficult to read on your own. Love this book, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Mil Millman. Wonderful book. So this is an interesting series of books. It's called The Celestine Prophecy, and it's written by James Redman. It's a, kind of an old book. It's a little out there, but so what? Life is a little bit out there, right? Um, Louise Hay. She wrote, The Power is Within You, and she wrote a book on affirmations. Really worth reading, especially if you're in a place where you feel like you need to raise your self-esteem and love for yourself. Soul's Plan by Robert Schwartz. The Prophet by Gilbrun. Beautiful book. The Soul by Rumi. Also a beautiful book. Gary Zukoff, Seed of the Soul. Di Dr. Michael Newton writes books about that in-between state Bef as we die and before we go to the next level. He wrote a book called The Journey of the Soul, which is very interesting to read. And on that line, Many Lives, Many Masters, if you haven't read that, by Brian Weiss. Any book by Paolo Coelho, and I'm definitely saying that wrong. So it's C-O-E-L-H-O. -E His books are wonderful. They, um, they're not in your face. They make you think, which I really like. Raymond Moody is a wonderful writer of near-death experiences. I know Raymond and I can tell you he's authentic and true. He's smart, he's funny, and his books are wonderful. Proof of Life by Eben Alexander, another book about near-death experiences. Wonderful book. So these are my recommendations for today. I will probably do this again and give you some names of more books that may inspire you and help you. And you know, again, you may not love all of these books, but you might like some of them. You know, one of them may spark an interest. One of them may say yes to you. So I hope they inspire you as they have for me. But there's one last book. Conversations with Mary, written by moi. Actually not, it was written by Mary, but my name is on the cover. Um, again, these are Mary's teachings, their question and answers. Um, I felt her, she spoke through me. That's why it's her book and not my book. And 
the purpose of this book for her was to get the message out to the world that we need to return to God and to pray, pray, pray. But she covers many, many topics in this book. So I hope that you're able to pick that up as well. All of these books are on Amazon. So you can pick them up from there. I don't know if they're in your local bookstore. I don't even know where local bookstores are anymore, which is very sad. But I hope that you're able to get whatever ones that you wish. In the meantime, God bless. And I look forward to seeing you on my next episode of Mystical Mondays.